Good morning, guys. Tuesday, the 23rd of June, one week to go towards the end of the month. And today we've got an awesome little workout for you. So today we've got handstand push-ups, handstand holds with a bit of a rest, and then we're doing single leg pistols on one side, a little bit of a rest, single leg pistols on the other side, a little bit of a rest, and we're going to do a few rounds of those. So what we're looking for is we're having that strict handstand push-ups. If you can do strict handstand push-ups, we're going to do strict handstand push-ups. If you can't, we're going to allow some kind of a scaling option. Either we're going to be doing kipping or we're going to do some kind of a pushback or a pike progression with the shoulders or a pike progression with the feet on the floor. Handstand holds, we're going to go through different uh, scaling options for that handstand hold, trying to get upside down with a bit of a rest. So a lot of overhead strength work that we're focusing on there. Then the single leg squat work, single leg pistol or single leg squat, 30 seconds of work. You may not even really need that 30 seconds of rest, depending on how deep you're going on the pistols. If you can do single leg pistols, we go through a few progressions, we'll do those. If you can't, we're gonna do some air squat work. And you're gonna do between anything, anything between three and five rounds today, okay? Um, one round is gonna be, a, obviously, may, may be enough work for some of you, and then five rounds may be just enough work for some of you. Okay, let's go through scaling options. Okay guys, so different progressions. Our first time we're going to start in a push-up position, then we're going to go into a pike progression with the feet on the floor, then we're going to go into a pike progression with the feet up on the box or up on the wall, and eventually we're going to go up into a handstand. And what we're going to do is, because you've got 30 seconds back to back, the 30 seconds of handstand push-ups, straight into a 30 second hold, we're going to do both progressions depending on what you're using for the floor, okay? So the first one is going to be a hand release push-up. So you may not be able to get your arms fully out over into an overhead position, but you can do some kind of a push-up. So the first push-up position, okay, just knees to floor, chest to floor, you're going to do knees to floor, and push-up, one, knees to floor. These are going to be your strict hands and push-ups, but with a push-up progression. Knees to floor, chest to floor, push-up. If you can do strict hands and push-ups, do strict hands and push-ups, the mid tight, chest, pushing back. And you're doing 30 seconds of those as much as you can, okay? From that, if you can, if you battle to get that overhead position, all you're gonna do is you can do a 30 second plank. Stomach tight, shoulder blades pulled back, chin pulled up and in, and we're holding a nice strong plank position for 30 seconds. So we have 30 seconds of push-ups into 30 seconds plank. If you need to make your push-up slightly more difficult but don't wanna go overhead, then you can do a hand release push-up. Knees to the floor, chest to the floor, hand release. Push back up, one, touch, push, two, touch, push. There's your hand release push up, be slightly harder work. And then again, your 30 second plank hold. If you're able to get overhead a little bit more, you're gonna do an over a piked handstand push up. So from there, you're gonna push back through the shoulders, kind of like into a push back, push back position. And you're gonna bring your head towards, if you wanna put a mat there, you can. You're gonna bring your head to the touch of floor, Push back, one, push back, two. Another option for this is still to do a push up. Push back, push back through the shoulders. Chest to floor, push up, push back through the shoulders every time. Your 30 second hold, straight into your 30 second hold, is into a pike hold, lock the elbows out, lock the shoulders out, and you're pressing, and I'm holding that position, stomach nice and tight, hold for 30 seconds, okay. That's scaling option number two. Scaling option number three is gonna do this up on a box. So from here, gonna hold, and we're gonna do a pike handstand. It's a little bit more difficult than with the feet on the floor. Depends if you're strong enough. The more you get your hips over the top of the shoulders, the more difficult on the shoulders from there. Touch your head to the mat, touch, press, and drive back, touch, Press and drive back. Then you do 30 seconds of that if you can, and then you're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Hips up over the top of the shoulders, looking out, holding. That is option number three. Next option is to do some kind of a pike up on the wall. So the strict hands and push-ups up and down off the floor, it's gonna to start to get tough. You may not be able to do that for a full 30 seconds. So what you can do is do it between five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. If you need to scale down back into a push-up, scale back into a push-up if you can't continue your hands and push-ups. But scaling option against the wall, feet back, hips up over the top, and then from there, hands and push-ups, touch the floor, 
touch. Press with the shoulders. And you do as many of those if you can, if you can do them. For your hold, hold the same position. Feet up on the wall, pike. Hips up over the top of the shoulders. And you're holding. Press it. Last option, strict hands and push-ups. For those of you the body weight machines, handstand kick up, kick, press, hands and push-up, press, do that for 30 seconds, hold, squeeze the glutes, tummy tucked inside, 30 second hold. For your handstand hold, those are your options. So from push-ups, from push-up into push-back, into push-backs, into some kind of a pike position, feet on the box, feet up on the wall, Strict hands and push-ups. That's it. Okay, so that's going to be your hands and work. Remember that 30 seconds of strict work is going to be very tough. Okay, so if you can do 30 seconds of work, that's fine. Or do as much work within the uh, within that 30 seconds if you can. Scale it down and can finish the remainder of the time in whatever your scale back movement is. From that, then go straight back into your next hold, whatever hold you're going to use for the 30 seconds. Give yourself 30 second rest, and then we're going to go into Pistols. So pistols are going to look like this. So pistols, you can either use a chair or a box. Okay, we recommend using a chair, something that's not going to collapse underneath you. And what we're looking for is same as a squat. So same as a squat, it's not the knees that to go first. It's the hips that push back. We're looking for the same progression, hips to touching a box. Now, the the lower the box, the more difficult the progression is going to be. The higher the chair. Okay, or the box, the easier the progression is going to be. So feet and knees are going to be together. Let's take one leg out. Instead of bending the knees first, I'm going to push back into the hip. I'm going to push back, touch, try not to fall onto the box, touch, lean back slightly, keep the stomach tight, drive forward, lean onto the foot, press, drive, press, step back out of the box. Stomach tight, hop, touch, press, two. And all the work should be in your glutes and your hip. Hip press back, hop, press, three, Press four, and you're working for a full 30 seconds. Take 30 seconds rest. It should get your heart rate up a little bit, but most of the work is going to be on that one side. Change, other leg, 30 seconds on the other leg for the single leg pistols. Okay, if you can't do single leg pistols, you're going to work for 30 seconds squat, both feet, hips pressing back, up, touch. If you're going to do a box squat, you can do a box squat, or you can don't have to use the box. Nice and deep, one. Squat for 30 seconds, give yourself 30 seconds of break, and then go for another 30 seconds of squats on a double if you're doing air squats instead of pistols. Okay guys, once you've done your pistols on your left, rest, pistols on your right, rest, give yourself 30 seconds rest, and then you can start again at the top for your second round, go all the way through, rest, third round, all the way through, decide how many rounds you're gonna go, depends on how strong you are or how fit you are, may depend on how many rounds you do, aim for about five rounds, and that's going to be your workout for today. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of shoulder prep work to, that we want to do. We've got quite a bit of hip mechanics and hip mobility that we want to do before we get into this. And we've also got uh, project inversion session number 10 that's going to prepare a lot of your work for the handstand work there. So uh, if you need a bit more warm up briefing, stick with us and we'll go through that now. Okay, guys, so warm up for today's work. So we're going to do a run, we're going to row, we're going to skip, we're going to do jumping jacks, we're going to do burpees, we're going to do kickbacks, anything to get your heart rate going for five minutes. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a mobility series or an active mobility. We're going to do some inchworms, we've got a lunge with a T-spine rotation, we've got some pushbacks to the shoulders, we've got some bootstrap stretches for the hips. That will get a nice and warm. We're going to do one round of that, we may do a second round of that. Then we've got some project inversion over here and a little bit of a shoulder prep at the end. First bit here, 10 inchworms. Let's have a look, see what the inchworms look like. So what you're looking for, nice stretch to the hamstrings, chin tucked in, reach through, stretch. So that first position there is already stretching to the hamstrings and the lower back. Hold. This is where I want you to feel the work. Okay, from there you're going to walk forward. And do your knees to floor, chest to floor. Push back up. Push back to the shoulders. And you're going to walk your shoulders up towards your hands. Touch. Walk it up along the spine. One. Walking forward, and we're just doing inchworms on the spot. Okay, knees to floor, chest to floor. Doesn't have to be a strict push up. Push back to the shoulders, roll to the shoulders, hamstring stretch, roll up on the spine, 
too. If you want to move forward, you can move forward, but make sure you get that chest to the floor to get mobility across the front of chest and shoulders, and then push back through the shoulders for that overhead position, because you want to warm up that overhead position for the handstands that are coming. That's going to be into them. You're doing 10 of those. Then we're going to do 10 lunges with a T-spine rotation. So we're looking for mobility through the hips, as well as, as, as well as some rotation through the spine, and some mobility across the front of the chest. So we're going to walk forward, you're going to lunge, you're going to drop the hip down towards the floor, open towards the ceiling, up, back, step, other side, lunge, stretching this hip here, open, two, step back, up, stretch, three, up, stretch, four, and you're doing ten in total. Uh, 10 each side, I should say. Take your time, work with the hips, open the hips as much as you can, stretch across the shoulders, make sure your hips and knees and your shoulders stay safe the whole way through. Next one, we do a pushback. So we're getting that sh shoulders warm for that overhead position. From there, you're gonna press back to the shoulders, press, okay, I'm locking out my elbows, locking out my shoulders, pushing my hips back as far as I can, and stomach tight, drop hips through. Oh. Push back. Make sure in this position here that you don't drop into the lower back. Keep the glutes tight, squeeze the knees, chest up. There shouldn't be too much hanging in the lower back there. If that's too much for you, then just come into a push-up position. Push back, back into a strong plank position. Push back, back into a strong plank position. Or if you've got a little bit more range of movement in your back, up, chest up. And press back. 10 pushbacks in total. And then your last one is gonna be a bootstrap stretch. So what we're looking for, remember, feet about shoulder width apart, hands on top of the ankles. You're gonna drop your hips down towards the floor. You get three little bounce at the bottom. One, two, three straight legs. One, two, three. Heels drop down, hips drop down. One, two, three straight legs. One, two, three. And dropping down, one, two, three. Take the time at the bottom here to make sure you're pushing those knees open. So the knees are driving open, hips are dropping down, you're feeling this inside of the stretch, okay? And you're doing about 10 bootstrap stretches, two, three, straight legs, one, two, three. Okay, so that's gonna be your bootstrap stretch. Once you've done that, if you feel like you need to do a second round, you can do a second round, inchworms, lunges with T-spine rotations, pushbacks, bootstrap stretches again. If you feel like you need to do a little bit more mobility work through the shoulders, spend a bit more time getting the shoulders stretched and warm before you start getting to this handstand work over here. Okay, so project inversion, session number 10 for today. So we've got some shoulder shrugs in a handstand position. Okay, so we're gonna get upside down and we are strengthening that shoulder girdle in that lockout position in an upside down position. If we're not doing a handstand, then we're doing shoulder shrugs in a push-up position. Okay, so we're strengthening this whole scapular shoulder girdle around the side here. Then we do alternating hand releases in a handstand. So if you can do alternating hand releases in a handstand position, we're gonna work on that. If you can do that, Great, if you can't, we do the same thing, but in a plank position, and we're going for shoulder taps. Stabilizing the midline, and then just stabilizing the shoulder from here, so we can tap left and right on the shoulders. We're doing 10 shoulder shrugs, a little bit of a rest. Drop back down, check the hands out, 10 alternating uh, releases, and we're doing three rounds in total. Okay, so the first one, shoulder shrugs and handstand, is gonna look like this. So what we're looking for is getting upside down as much as possible. Feet, arms locked out. Touch, make sure the bum's not on the wall. Hips pressing out and press. And then from there, it's just gonna be a strike. You're gonna drop the shoulders down and press through one. Drop the shoulders down. Two, shoulders down. Three, shoulders down. Shrugging upside down and holding the bottom and the top elbow still locked. So I'm not bending my elbows, it's the shoulders and the scapulas, pressing through that movement. Okay, that's your full position on that shrug. The next one we do is a bit of a pike position. So pike, feet up on the wall, and the same thing, shrug down, press one, shrug down, press two, shrug down, press three, shrug down, 
press four, shut down, press five. That's going to be a pike. If you're going to do a pike with your feet on the floor, then you can do push back, hold that position, shrug, press through, shrug, press through, shrug, pressing through, scap is engaging. Focus on keeping those elbows locked out nice and strong. If you can do a push up position, then stomach nice and tight, shoulder blades pulled back, keep that lower tummy tucked in. I don't want to feel the work dropping into the hips. Keep hips up, drop down, press one, drop down, press two, drop down, press three in a push up position. And if you're not strong enough for the push up position or you feel too much in your low back, do it in the knees. Same thing, drop, press, one, drop, press, two, drop, press, three, drop, press four. You can even start this progression. So your first, as you're warming up, if you want to get your shoulders warm, start with this, kneeling, progress into 10 of in a plank position, progress 10 to an overhead position before you start progressing up into the wall or any kind of a pike position. So those are going to be your shrugging options. Okay. Then we're going to look at your alternating hand release options. So if you can use a wall, that's great. If you need to do some kind of a pike, you can. Let's start at the floor progression first. So from a floor progression in a push-up position, if you're just going to do a kneeling position, then all we're looking for is to try and keep this body as still as possible. I don't want to see the hips moving from side to side. So from there, it's touch, 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 touch. And I'm focusing on keeping that nice and tight and the shoulder good. I don't want to see your shoulders coming around your ears. Pull that shoulder down, push up through the arms. For some of you, this is going to be enough. Okay, just that feeling of that shoulder girdle engaging as you transfer the weight from left to right. If you can, progress to a push up. Feet a little bit wider than usual. Trying to keep your midline as still as possible. Touch, 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 touch. I don't want to see the hips rolling from side to side. Core's engaged. It's going to work the midline. Shoulder base pulling back in a plank, shoulder taps. Then we're going to start moving to an overhead position. So overhead position, we're going to press back to the shoulders. Press. Good. Keep those arms locked out. Transfer the weight into the opposite side. Touch. Transfer into my right side. Touch. So I want to transfer that weight into the supporting arm before I lift. Make sure the elbow's locked out. Scapers are pushing back. Hips are pressing back, and I'm as far back in that position as I can. I don't want to see my body coming forward. I'm starting to do this. Push back as far as your overhead mobility will allow you, and you're working. Okay? It's a good progression to warm up to as part of the warm up before you get to the full movement. Okay? Next one is going to start doing this up on a wall. So you can do this in a bit of a wall pike hold. So feet up, keep your feet in the same position. You may want to put your feet slightly wider in the wall, this may be a bit narrow, to stop the hips from rolling from side to side. But you touch, 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 touch. So you've got some nice pikes or pike alternating taps. The more you get your feet up the wall and the more you get your hips up overhead, keeping the body nice and still, the more load there's going to be in the sh shoulder girdle. And then the last one is to get upside down and do pike holds. See if I can do this without moving too much. From here, some tight, touch, press, and touch left, right, left, right, left, right. <sighs> Don't cheat by holding the wall with your feet. Okay. So those are your options. You've got your, pipe, you've got your plank positions on the floor, or your plank options, progressions. You've got your pike progressions on the floor, pike progressions up on the wall, and then right up on the wall, both the shrugs and alternating. Spend 10 reps in the shrugs, 20 reps in total on your alternating planks. Give yourself enough rest between rounds. Do three rounds. After the shoulder work here and some of the mobility work here, you should be warm enough to work up into your um, workout or at least to do some of the wad prep. So what you can do is you're going to review your movements that you're using for here. If you're going to do strict handstand push-ups, do that. If you're going to do hand release push-ups, do that. If you can do some kind of a pike progression with an overhead press or touching the head to a mat, set yourself up. 
And I want you to give yourself about five to 10 reps on whatever movement you're gonna use for your handstand push-ups. Okay, whether it's strict push-ups or pike push-ups or strict handstand push-ups or even kicking handstand, uh, kipping handstand push-ups. Work yourself through the progressions so you can figure out where you need to be for the workout. Give yourself about 10 reps. Then we're gonna review your pistols. Remember for your pistols, hips back, start on a higher box, okay, or start with some air squats, then move onto a single chair and find the progression for whatever height you're gonna be using for your pistols. Give yourself 10 pistols on the left, 10 pistols on the right, or give yourself 10 air squats if you're doing air squats. Make sure you know exactly what you're doing for the workout. Set your clock, three, two, one, and then you work for your 30 seconds. So it's 30 seconds of work, straight into the next bit of 30 second hold, straight into 30 seconds rest. Straight into 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds rest. And that's it, guys. That's your Tuesday workout. A nice bit of work. If you take your time with the mobility, and if you take your time with the handstand uh, push-up work, the project in version number 10, and do a sufficient amount of rounds, it ends up being a really great workout for today. So enjoy it, and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh,